welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner and on this episode we're going to be making something called dirty noodles and it's a recipe of mine where I can make a lot of it it fills my husband up it fills me up in the last a couple of days so what you're going to want to do is get some noodles now as you can see <laughs> these are salad noodles but again it doesn't matter what kind of noodles you use well use like the elbow macaroni or salad noodles they work just fine these are small and they cook fast so about two cups of noodles and I got a small you're probably like gonna look at me going what is she thinking she's gonna fit all two cups of that in that tiny little pot I don't think so no I just want to give you a demonstration of we're not gonna watch this boil when you start to see when you start to see little bubbles on the bottom and then those little bubbles will start to get bigger and then they're going to dance up and around that's when you're going to want to put the noodles in the water and I am not a salt person I don't add salt to anything that I cook so just wait for those little bubbles on the bottom of the pan to dance around stick your noodles in and then make sure you stir, you know, stir back and forth. Make sure that they don't. Now, I think you can see, if you look really hard, you can see that's perfect right there. It doesn't have to come to a rolling boil. Let's shut that off because guess what? Put that over here. Voila! Instant noodles! There we go. Right there. They're all done. And the texture is going to be very, very soft. Not chew not chewy, but soft. And when you put them in, after you strain them, you get a big <coughs> dish like this. And uh, you can't see me, can you? Okay, let's move this back up. Get a big dish. Or whatever put the strainer in it pour the hot water into the colander because what you don't want to do is you don't want to pour the hot water down the sink that melts pipes and that's not good so and then what you <coughs> excuse me what you do from there is you take the hot water put it in the sink behind me and fill it up with cold water and when that water inside here when you can touch it and it's lukewarm then you can pour it down the sink okay well let's put our noodles over here and let's get rid of this before it gets back okay I have a new method of cooking I don't think that's gonna hurt but Okay, voila. Well, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to chop some vegetables. This includes four celery sticks, carrots, three garlics, there you go, half an onion, olives, which are already chopped. But you don't, you put that in the very last. So let's get started. Take your olives, slice them in half, and in half, in half. So you have one, two, three, four. Let's do that again. In half. Or if you want, you can just one time. So you just have two pieces like that. You don't have to do them in fourths. I like doing them in fourths because it, make some spread out a little bit so let's put that in in the olive container now before I get ahead of myself olive oil two tablespoons one two put that on Okay, we're gonna go a little bit, put it on. 
something. Put it on about four. We're gonna. I'm using a higher temperature. I'm. I'm gradually learning. No, I'm not. Uh, cake garlic. Cup, cup. Make little slivers. Like on the last episode. Sliver it. And then when you get to the end, just chop it in half. Or if it's big enough, you can actually leave it. This piece I can leave. And oh yeah, almost forgot. Package of pork. I should say this is... Um, dirty pork or dirty noodle and then um one more thing before i stop <laughs> get carried away take the other half see this is a whole onion they're sweet onions i cut them in half put the other half in a bag or if you want uh you can put them in an air tight container i like putting them in the bag i never had a problem and a little bit of water in the pan Ooh, yes i hear you Ooh, you got personality Okay. Behave yourself. Okay. Put the garlic in. I've got a pan with personnel. We're going to put the other items over here because the celery and the carrots are not going to go in with the garlic and the onion. So here's, here's the onion. We're going to slice. Now you don't want to slice all the way down through. You just want to slice until... See how I pick it up and it's still connected? So just keep on doing that. As soon as possible. And I just slice through, but that's okay. But just as you keep it together. And every once in a while a piece will slide up with the with the uh, knife, but that's okay too. And again, when you get to the end, put that aside. I'm not into cutting the end because, you know, you cut your fingers that way. So turn it to the side. Now cut the other way. Oh, we lost one. See? Just put it over there. Okay. Now what you want to do, take your knife, hold it, shift it. See? Oh! <laughs> Well, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I think you get the idea. I'll take the rest. So what you do, you hold it like that when it's whole, shift it, and then keep on cutting. Okay, now we're going to chop. This is kind of bumpy, but... And as you chop it, pull it into a square, and there's that piece that didn't kind of flew out. Chop that up. Let's stir that garlic around. I turned it back to low, by the way. It was spitting a little bit too much. And let's move this pan over here. Okay, there we go. Hi. Okay. Back to the onion. Okay, so you're going to want it about this size. Like, uh, like that. You see? There we go. And there's, there's just big pieces or little pieces in there. You know, big deal. Okay, put that in. I turned it to low. So... It got a little, I think a little bit of water I didn't see in there when I put the olive oil in there, but that's okay. First rule of thumb when cooking with oil, always have a dry pan or it's going to have personality. Okay. So. I have to think what I'm doing here. <laughs> Got all this stuff over here. Okay, so we're going to turn that back up to 
two. Okay, let's get this stuff done. And let's get the carrots out. Here's two that have already been peeled. Let's peel the other one so you can see how that's done. Just in case you don't know how to peel. It's very appealing to peel. I make a lot of bad jokes. I love bad jokes. Bad jokes are better than good jokes. Well, not bad, bad, bad jokes, but it's like when you hear a good joke, you always know the person's going to laugh. When you tell, tell a horrible joke like I just did, you're like, uh, should I laugh at that? I don't know. Okay, let me stir this. And the onions are going to get opaque. And, oh, that was great. Oh, let's try another scoop here. See how they're looking glossy? Now you don't want to brown them, you just want them to look nice and glossy. Let's get some of the other stuff I want to put in here. Okay, carrots. Now the traditional way you can chop them is like this. And you get little pieces that are circular. Right? And bigger, smaller. Let's put them in that pan because that's where they're going to go. Well, I have a way where you can make them a little bit. Cut them at an angle. Hope you can see this. Okay, take the carrot. Cut it at a diagonal like this. So, down. And then what you're going to want to do is when you've cut them down, you're going to have this flat part right here. Face that up. Cut diagonal again. Right? Have this part face up towards you, pointing towards the ceiling, cut di diagonal again. Face up, turn, diagonal. Turn up, diagonal, turn up, diagonal. And it, keep on turning it as you cut it. It kind of gives you this kind of a neat little, little extra instead of cutting carrots in their normal way. It looks a little bit prettier. Okay, that goes into that pop. pop. Okay. Now for our meat. Just plop it in, take the paper off. Again, this is pork. Smash it up. Okay, and then what we're going to do, this is where we're going to add our spices. I'm going to add, let me get all the caps off here so we can do this quicker. Now, if there's anything you don't like, you don't have to put it in. So, just because I'm putting it in doesn't mean you have to. So, half a teaspoon of chili powder, sprinkle that over. Half a teaspoon of Mexican oregano leaves or oregano, half a uh, teaspoon, I hope I didn't say tablespoon because I, I, I just have a thing of saying tablespoon, so this is all teaspoons of ground coriander, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I like a lot of spices. I like this thing to really taste really good. And Okay, let's see. I think we're going to quit it and then I'll join you back here. And another thing real quick before I end this episode. Sage, I said it. Sage, or like I call it, like they call bunny ears. Um, and coriander, not coriander. Um, no. Now it's just the opposite problem. Now I have to say this cilantro. There we go. So chop that up really good. Just coarsely chop that. Put that in. And I'll be back in a few.